Hello, we're back. So um, this is uh, another quick video on uh, Blender 2.7 uh, for those who are brand new to it, uh, like I am. So as I'm going, I'm just going to add a few videos so that I can look back and go, ah, that's what it is. Because I'm, I'm not sure for, uh, how much time I'm going to put into this. And my memories like fades quite quickly. So um, okay, so we've got uh, I've chosen cycles as the render up here. And I've got this viewport, I'll swap that out to being the rendered version. So that's currently a rendered view through the camera. You can use any viewport to do cycles rendering. Uh, so if I go and change, this is a perspective view. If I change this over to rendered, then this will start rendering. As you'll see in a minute. We are going to be a bit crunchy because, there we go. So that's also going to render. Yeah, how horrendously rendering is that? So you can render your viewport via your Cycles Interactive Renderer. And if I hold down uh, Alt and middle mouse and rotate around, I can rotate around it. I'm using um, Studio Max keyboard navigation shortcuts because I just find it a bit easier. Okay, and that'll that'll slowly resolve depending on what we're doing. This is using my CPU. I don't have a a GPU that can take advantage of cycles. Um, it's very old. I'm due to get a new one. I'm waffling on, so we should stop that. I think we'll stop that and we'll go solid again. Okay, so this is our preview renderer. Now, stupidly, not knowing, uh, but learning, if I go and uh, look over here in the, we'll call this the uh, item list or proper uh, item list or outliner. And if I look at the Suzanne figure here, I can disable it, switch it off, turn the little eye off, and it goes. It's no longer being rendered, and it's no longer in the viewport. However, if you go and render it, and hit render, it will render it. This is just hiding it in the viewport. Uh, if you want to hide it from the renderer, then go over to where it says Suzanne and the little camera icon. This is your render, things you want to render or don't want to render. Yeah, so if I don't want it to render here, but I want to show it in the viewport. So viewport rendering, this, it, this is that's what all this little eye is for. It's only for the viewport. Do I see it in the viewport? And because you can render a viewport with Cycles Renderer, then you will see it. This is the way of switching that on and off. If you want to go and do a separate render or a sequence of images of a certain size then you need to go and turn it off with your little camera icon. The little um, arrow icon is for, is for selecting, to lock in a selection for instance. Okay, so that's all that is that about. So this is just a little one about the outliner basically. So this is viewport, this is selectability, and this is what's going to be rendered. Okay, I think that will cover that one. So this is the outliner or uh, outliner or items list. And you've got everything in here and you can open certain things up. Um, the other thing to notice is um, this character you might just notice um, looks a bit more jaggedy than the rest of it and that is because uh, I think that's jazz we got there let's go here so yeah okay so in here um, I have switched off the subsurface in this particular view yeah and if I switch it back on again it will then go and get one is going to go and refresh the renderer which is just done and also you notice this has gone back to being smoother so I can turn off um, sub D's or turbo smooth if you were from Max that type of thing here I can also tell it to uh, this is just a viewport thing I can also say um, in the renderer use it but in the viewport don't use it okay so and because your viewport you can also do a preview that's also down there. So this is just for those sort of little things. There you go. Um, yeah, I think that's that's sort of it really. I think that'll do for what we're looking at at the moment. Uh, geometry has a little triangle, a uh, little light. Guess what that is? That's a light. And the little camera icon is the camera. And the world is the environment, basically. And if we go over to environment over here, we can see what we've got in the environment at the moment and the colour of the environment is nothing um, and we're not using, we'll come back to this later so I think that'll do, this is just um, the outliner or the items list, however you want to call it, or the scene explorer however you want to like list that 
that's what that is. I hope that's not too confusing. Uh, we'll see. Right, I think that'll do that one.